Before we move on to the next data structure, I want to take a few minutes to quickly go over another type of linked list, namely doubly linked list. What we have learned so far is singly linked lists. Singly linked lists contain nodes which have a value field as well as a next field which points to the next node in a line of nodes. The other type is doubly linked lists. In a doubly linked list, each node contains the value field, the next node link, as well as a second link pointing to the previous node in the sequence. This makes insertion and removal at both ends possible in constant time complexity, but at the expense of more space. Let me help you understand the common operations with a visual representation. As you can see, a node in a doubly linked list contains two pointers, previous and next. With this in mind, let's understand the insertion, deletion, and traversal operations. First up, prepend to add a new node at the start of the list. If the list is empty, the new node is both the head and tail of the list. However, if a list already exists, we point node.next to head, head.previous to node, and assign head to the new node, which is the first node in the updated list. Very similar to what we have already seen with the new addition of handling the previous pointer. Next, let's take a look at append. If the list is empty, the new node is both the head and tail of the list. However, if a list already exists, tail.next will point at the new node and node.previous will point back at tail. Finally, we assign tail to the new node, which is the last node in the updated list. Next up, removing a node from the front. All you have to do is point the head node to its next node. The first node will effectively be removed in doing so. On the other hand, to remove a node from the end of the list, we have two scenarios. If the list contains only one node, both head and tail of the list should be pointed to null. This will effectively remove the node from the list. If the list contains more than one node, you get hold of the node previous to the tail using tail.previous. You then update the new tail pointer next field to null. As you can see, insertion and deletion at both ends in a doubly linked list has constant time complexity. If you want to print the list, start at head and travel till the tail using next field on each node. If you want to print the list in reverse, start at tail and travel till the head using the previous field in each node. It really is that simple. So that is a quick overview of the doubly linked list data structure. I am not going to cover the implementation in a video, but the code is available on Replit so make sure to check the link in the description down below. If you have understood singly linked lists, doubly linked lists is in fact much easier to understand. With that, we have come to the end of a series of videos on linked lists. I hope you now have a much better understanding of it. Join me in the next video where we will start learning about a new data structure. Thank you for watching. Please do consider subscribing to the channel and I will see you in the next one.